Alrighty, welcome on back to the channel everybody and happy new year. I'm glad you're here. I want to thank you for being here. This is my, oh my gosh, I started doing YouTube I think in 2010. So this is, we're going on our 12th year at the Lake Fort Guy channel. So thank you. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm looking forward to another year of doing outdoor content for you guys. I feel like I've, I've learned so much over this decade uh, with fishing, hunting, uh, outdoors in general. Now I wanted to start the year off doing a video on uh, something I'm passionate about. I, I don't do that many videos on it, um, but knives, I've been collecting knives since I was a kid. My dad used to take me to flea markets and I would just, you know, pick up cheap little knives and I've just always been interested with them. So I wanted to start the new year off giving you guys a video about five knives I think every outdoorsman should have. And not just particular ones, but the categories really. Um, there's a bunch of different brands and they range in price range, but these are five different categories that I think everyone should have. It's probably already your first knife, but it should be the first one in your five knives for every outdoorsman and that is a swiss army knife a swiss army knife is incredible because it does so many things it's not perfect but at everything but it just does so much you know it has uh, a knife a couple of knives on it you could clean animals with this uh, the knife is really thin on it um, and it's, it's super easy to sharpen. It's not like a high-end steel or anything like that, but it gets the job done and it's a good shape for cleaning animals. Um, just personal care, like when you're going hiking, going camping, you know, you need to like trim your fingernails, clean up gunk out of something, uh, you know, pick something out of, I, I don't know, just, just little tasks. It's, it's incredible. It, it does so much. This one even has a little saw on it screwdriver uh, it's got picks everything like that this does so much so this is the first one i think everyone needs to have in their collection it's even got a toothpick yeah go pick your teeth keep your teeth clean swiss army knife number one number two is going to be a pocket knife everyone needs a decent pocket knife and i've got a whole collection of them you know, personal preference. I love Benchmades. I love Spydercos. These knives are, these are actual knives that I use. They're not collectibles. I keep them in rotations, just depending on, you know, <laughs> what day it is, what I like, uh, what I want to use and carry. But, um, you know, the, the pocket knives are just incredible. Something around three inches. You just keep in your back pocket. I keep one in the truck. I keep one in my backpack, my hunting pack. Um, I, I keep one in just about every pack. You know, I even, I've got some old buck knives. There's a lot, of, there's a ton of different brands and we shouldn't even get into brand, brand specifically, but just get yourself a decent pocket knife. You can uh, clean animals with these. They are uh, in a pinch. You can use these for like woodcraft and things like that. Um, cutting ropes, cutting fishing line, uh, all sorts of things. You all know that you need a good pocket knife. So definitely have a decent pocket knife in your collection. That's, uh, you know, not something giant, but something that's ugh, easy to carry. Pocket knives, get a bunch of them. Don't have to be expensive. Just have a bunch laying around. Pocket knives are awesome. Next one in the lineup and one I use a ton because I fish a lot is a fillet knife. Uh, you don't have to get an expensive one. Fillet knives come pretty cheap, but what makes a fillet knife unique is it's thin and it's flexible. So anytime a knife is thin, that means it's gonna be slicey. So you can use this for fish. Uh, the flex is really key. When you're able to flex that knife down and push out, on that fish you're getting the most off the meat 
So it is a very useful tool and you can also use it for boning uh, you know, deer or other animals, whatever you're cleaning. You can use a fillet knife the, the same way. I mean, it's basically a boning knife as well. So it's able to, I, I really love fillet knives for getting the silver skin off of deer and, and pigs and everything like that. It's a very useful tool for that, um, but it's unique. Uh, you can't, you can't really clean a fish or, or bone animals uh, the same as you can with a fillet knife. They're very, very useful. So every outdoorsman needs a fillet knife in their collection. And I'm not including an electric fillet knife in this video. Obviously, fillet, electric fillet knives are fantastic for cleaning fish. They're flexible as well, and they're very fast. If you got a ton of fish, it's great. But we're just talking about. Um, the basic blades, the fixed blades that everyone needs. So fillet knife, number four is going to be a camp knife or a belt knife. Uh, every outdoorsman needs one of these. Just something that has a pretty thick spine on it that you can do just about everything with. It's not gonna be good at cleaning fish. It's not gonna be good at, at boning uh, meat off of animals but it's great at uh, woodworking. So you can do woodworking, uh, woodcraft. You can do firecraft with this, making your feather sticks and making your kindlings, things like that. If you need to make a fire, you can definitely skin animals with this. Um, you can do just about everything at camp that you need to do. And even if you're in a pinch, you gotta, you gotta cut some thick rope. Um, you know, you gotta do some light chopping, things like that. Having a good camp knife is key. Something around four inches, good thick spine. It's a good hard steel, uh, carbon steel or stainless steel. Doesn't have to be expensive. Something that's got a, a good comfortable handle that you can work hard. You can baton it. Um, you can just work the knife really hard. And it's not gonna break, it's not gonna bend. Um, a good camp knife is essential in everyone's collection. So if you're only going to get one, make sure it's a, it's a decent one. Um, but this is a knife that if you were stranded, you'd have to count on. So have yourself a good camp knife. Lastly, this is a blade. It's not necessarily a knife. And I can honestly do another video on like 10 blades that everyone should have. But if we're just talking the five essentials, Everyone needs a folding saw. Uh, I have a couple of these. I keep uh, one in my ATV, I keep one in my pack. Uh, this is one that you can use if you're a tree hunter. If you're hunting out of trees, this is an amazing tool everyone has to have, cutting limbs. Um, but just general use, uh, cutting off limbs to, to make firewood. If you needed to, to make anything out of wood and you didn't have a big saw, or you don't have an ax to chop, a saw can do a ton. Let's just say there's a lay down that's out there in your way that you need to chop down. Uh, this thing will, will do the job. It may take you a long time, but you can do the job, but it's just anything like less than six inches, five inches, it will just cut right through. Um, and you can do a lot of crafting with a saw. I even use it around here. I use it around here a ton just for limbing trees in the backyard, you know, just for some arborist usage. A folding saw is an incredible tool. So those are the five categories of knives I think every outdoorsman should have. You can get more specific from there with different uh, types of knives, like very thin skinning knives and everything like that that are better at the job than uh, the ones I mentioned there. But those categories you can definitely get by with that is it for this video. Very simple one to start out 2022. I'm looking forward to making more outdoor action videos for you guys in 2022. If you want to see more on specific types of knives, if you have questions, drop me a comment down below. Go ahead and smash that like button. May God bless you and Godspeed in the great outdoors. I'll see you soon, 2022.